Hey, what's up and welcome back to another Lair Belair. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at using Eagle and Fusion 360. So we are following this tutorial here and we have a uh, little issue here that we're going to try to solve. So we have a PCB that was created uh, in Fusion and then linked in EagleCAD. Again, following this tutorial here from the Autodesk Eagle team, the link is in the description if you want to see uh, this video to kind of follow with it. Here we are, we have a design and the goal is to kind of get this PCB object into the center up here into this cylindrical um, container. So if we try to just move it, click and drag, we're, in we're not able to do so. Uh, so it took us a little bit to figure this out, but here's how to fix it. So the first thing you want to do is come down here to joints. There's actually a joint that is uh, kind of automatically generated when creating the PCB. So what we'll do is we'll right click on it and say suppress. Now you'll notice that up here we now can capture the position. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can apply a joint to move this around. So with this suppress, I can just click this and move it around. But I highly suggest making a, uh, a joint. So let me revert that by hitting that button there. And then I'll hit under the assemble, uh, or just hit joint here, or J as a uh, keyboard shortcut. And then select, let's say I want to select the bottom center here, kind of reorient myself. And then for component two, we could just select um, the center of the container, and that'll snap it to the center there. And now we can play around with uh, any offsets, positions. We can unflip it. There we go. Uh, keep it as a rigid type, um, as it doesn't really need to move anywhere. Uh, and then we can just use these handlers if we want to find adjust it. So that's pretty nice. So I can hit OK. And it is exactly in the center of our canister. Uh, if you ever want to go back into there, you can right click on the joint and hit edit joint in the timeline here. Uh, and then you can fine tune it. You can change the, or, uh, the different object if you'd like, um, rotate it if you'd like, all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if you're having any issues with Eagle and Fusion 360. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, bye. <laughs>